Good afternoon. I would like to thank the organization for this invitation and I will present the results of the focus group on grazing for carbon. 20 European stakeholders, including researchers, farmers and people from official entities, got together to discuss and find answers for the following three questions. How to increase the soil carbon content from grazing systems? Which are the best grazing systems uh, management strategies? Which are the drivers and barriers for different grazing systems? And which is the logic be behind the setting this grazing for carbon focus group? Grasslands have a great potential for storing carbon in the soil. Carbon sequestration improves soil quality and health and makes soils more resilient to extreme weather events, contributes to climate change mitigation and can benefit pasture quality. Finding the best type of management to combine animal production with soil ecosystem services, such as carbon storage, nutrient cycling, and biodiversity will promote the implementation of sustainable systems in Europe. Two meetings took place in France and Spain in 2017 with dynamic discussions and knowledge sharing. As a result, several documents were published. Uh, one starting paper to set the scene five mini papers about the most pressing issues to tackle towards, towards the increase of carbon in pastures, a facts sheet in English, Bulgarian, French, and Portuguese, and at last, a final report that can be found on the EIP Agri website. During the process, we have found several knowledge gaps. First one, to understand the necessity to understand the links between carbon sequestration, organic matter, and other ecosystem services, and develop robust indicators to monitor different ecosystem services at the same time. Then the necessity to do a meta-analysis to compile current knowledge on how different grazing systems affect soil sequestration and determine the best grazing systems for carbon storage under different pedoclimatic conditions. Then to identify region-specific species and mixtures for grazing that determine the impact of grazing on the productivity and persistence of mixtures to identify the best ones to maintain or increase the soil carbon in soils. An holistic approach is also needed to identify the trade-offs and synergies between carbon sequestration and other ecosystem services and to identify the best grazing management strategies to optimize ecosystem services for local conditions. Then after uh, it was identified that incentives can be positive to the long-term carbon sequestration and to assess the effectiveness of these incentives is one of the knowledge gaps. To create guidelines to optimize animal production while maintaining or increasing carbon sequestration on soil to look at the effect of grazing intensity and nutrient fertilization on carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur ratios in plants and on carbon sequestration in soil. And finally, to understand the intrinsic motivation of farmers and the mindset of the farmers to adopt these new uh, strategies. From the several documents produced, you will find the main outcomes of this focus group. And we have some examples here. The key outcomes of the discussions uh, led to the need to focus on grazing management in the, in the following aspects, to preserve current carbon stocks, to promote additional carbon sequestration whenever that's possible, to promote the grazing in pastures with mixtures of species because the increased plant diversity enhances ecosystem functioning both in natural and sown grasslands and increased plant diversity can enhance the yield and soil organic carbon storage contributing to the increase of carbon sequestration. So the optimal choice of local mixtures to support carbon sequestration, nitrogen fixation, resistance to extreme weather events, species persi persistence, etc., in specific regions is an innovative solution. 
then to develop quick, low cost and easy to apply monitoring techniques to help the farmers and advisors in their management decisions to enhance the carbon sequestration. These monitoring techniques will include the effect of grazing and stocking in the system, for example, in continuous and rotational and adaptive grazing management systems, and what the, are the effects on soil organic carbon contents. Then the need to promote best quality and persistent of persistence of swords, showing positive and negative effects of the different practices Increase plant and animal production, soil quality, and biodiversity by converting traditional management to alternative conservation management systems. The design of successful silver pastoral systems will optimize the landscape design, will optimize the productivity of grazing animals, of the production of trees and fruits to increase the carbon sequestration and other ecosystem services such as biodiversity, nature related to touristic activities, etc. So the incentives are the final point that should um, be, be, be addressed to promote all of these aspects that were referred before. Thank you very much for your attention.